as you guys can see, it's Halloween. Hey, I was really, really not going to be doing any Halloween makeup tutorials because I felt like no one would want to see what I come up with because there's so many amazing Halloween tutorials. And I'm not really good, really, at all this crazy kind of stuff. So if you guys want to see how I create this makeup look, it was actually quite easy to do. So if you guys want like a last minute Halloween kind of idea and still look kind of pretty, like we're going to, you know, please keep watching. Okay, guys, let's get started. So as you guys see, I have nothing on my face right now. Now we need to cover up this redness but to start off with i'm gonna put contact lenses in i tried to raid through my contact lens drawer which i haven't worn contacts for so long and all my contacts have dried up so i did find these silica ones these are hydrocore marine but they're like bluish i don't know how well it will go with like the whole skull theme but yellow okay guys so i've got my contact lenses in it feels really really funny it feels like i can kind of see but it's a little bit blurry the things we do for freaking tutorials hey normally i do my eyebrows first but because i'm gonna go lighter in skin tone i'm not gonna do my eyebrows because sometimes when you do your eyebrows first you can't get right into the nitty gritty okay so foundation wise i'm gonna go in with the lancome tint idol ultra wear foundation stick i haven't got to try out the stick yet because they sent me some really light shades so i'm like i'm never gonna get to wear it but today i need to be really light so i'm like perfect fit so i'm gonna go in the foundation straight off the bat so as you guys can see this foundation is super duper light but it's a long wear foundation and it's full coverage as well also done my neck too oh the stick feels really creamy i'm also gonna put a bit of foundation mixer on my face as well this is in the white shade this is from nyx a little bit paler so you're going to want to wet your sponge, but you don't want to wet it too much because sometimes if your sponge is a bit too wet, it will shear down the foundation and we want like a full coverage foundation. I'm using a Morphe sponge, really soft the Morphe sponges, I really recommend them. So I'm just going to blend this all out and give us a really flawless finish. You guys even understand what I just said. Flawless finish. I haven't done a Halloween look for so long. I wasn't going to do one this year, guys, but I thought, let me just at least do one video for you guys. Even if you don't really care, it's kind of fun watching. So I'm putting it all on my eyebrows and everything because we're going to be drawing on top of them anyway. Okay, so I bring the foundation and everything all down to my chest. Obviously, depending on what your costume is, you're going to need to do all your hands and stuff like that. But I'm just going to be doing the top half of my body. You don't really need to set this foundation because we put on quite a lot. And because it's a stick foundation, I always find sticks doesn't last as long for some reason. Even though this does say it's long wear, but I don't know, guys. I don't trust it. So I'm going to go in with the MAC Invisible Powder. I never ever use this, as you guys can see. It's all like nasty and old but this is really good for like people who perform on stage and you get a lot of it as well so you can really like go to town with it okay so you're going to want to use a powder puff with it because you want to really set this in and lock it because the worst thing is when you do all your freaking foundation and then you do your eyeshadow on top and if the foundation moves oh my god it's the worst thing i do especially when it's so light your skin is going to peek through underneath so make sure you take out any creases on your eyes before you powder Bitch. I'm gonna put on a lot, basically baking your whole face. Bake, 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 bake that kick, 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 kick. Oh my god, I want to take that. Especially around your eyes and underneath your eyes. You want to bake that motherfucker. Ew, girl, no creases up in here. I literally look like a monster from the ring. Perfecto. Okay, so for my eyebrows, I want to go for basically black eyebrows. I want it to be really, really dark. So I'm gonna go in with some gel eyeliner. This is from Illamasqua. It's the Precision Gel Eyeliner. So I'm gonna use a brush from The Brow Gal by Tonya Crooks, and it is a really, really nice, precise, angled brush, which is what you need, especially when you want to create like really precise eyebrows. So you can also do this with black eyeshadow if you prefer. But I just want my eyebrows to be a bit more precise. That's why I'm going to go in with a gel eyeliner. And I already have my eyebrows tattooed, so I'm just gonna follow the natural shape because I can't really change the fucking shape of my brows. And I just do like an outline at the top. I'm just gonna make it a bit more archy, so it looks a bit more evilish. And then I just drag it down. You want to make sure this bit is really sharp. And kind of wing it out a bit more as well. Bitch, these are some severe eyebrows going up. They're not that bad, you know. I might wear this on my everyday eyebrows. So I'm just kind of like filling it in slowly and i always do like little small strokes so that you can't see any harsh lines of the gel eyeliner so at the front here i'm just going to slowly ombre it because we're going to put like a shadow here anyway so it's going to look really like smoky at the front so i'm going to drag it down at the front just a little bit just so it really like goes down and up into an arch okay so i just done one of my eyebrows i just want to quickly show you this crusty eyebrow that just went so bad guys so i'm just going to show you how i clean it up and make it look a bit more you know 
snatch. This is all you can use for your everyday makeup. So if you fuck up on your eyebrows, you can use this technique. So this is the Illamasqua Concealer. This is like a whitish kind of colour with a little bit of my skin colour in it. That's why it's a bit yellowy. Obviously, if you're doing it on your normal skin tone, just do a normal concealer. But it has to be more of a cream-based concealer. I'm using a Colourpop concealer brush. And you want to use the tippy tip of the brush and literally carve out the eyebrow. So it's really precise. This is also a really good technique if you've got like old eyebrow hairs and stuff because it will help cover up any like loose eyebrows hairs that's like still hasn't been plucked and stuff. So you want to more use the edge of it to make sure it's a really crisp line. Literally carving and I'm just kind of doing it in like small strokes. So that it will carve out the eyebrow. Slowly like fade it down. So that the white blends in with the rest of the skin tone colour. And this will kind of be like your brow bone highlight. Oh my god my eyebrows look crazy. They're so much thicker than what I normally have. Oh man. So today on the eyes we're going to be using a new palette that I haven't used yet. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. And I've already got a dirty fingerprint on it already. So this is literally brand new. I've only done like a few swatches on my hand, but it feels really, really nice so far. Velvet kind of finish. They love their velvet finishes at Angelina Beverly Hills, even though it gets so dirty and so mucky. But I love the fact that it has a black in here, which is why I'm picking this palette to use today. And then it's also got some browns and like some golds and stuff as well. I do like the palette, but I feel like, I don't know, there's some colours in here that will make such amazing colour schemes and stuff. But sometimes I think that like this green is like so random this grey colour here it's not really warm it's not really cool it has a bit of everything but let's try it out anyways hopefully it's not as dusty as the subculture palette I'm going to start by using this shade here it's called Parallel and then also Saturn so I'm going to use a Morphe M11 brush by the way guys this palette does come with a brush already but I never use the brushes that's included in palettes I don't know why they're never as good as the normal brushes that you have you know okay so I'm going to start by putting this into the crease god it is very pigmented not as dusty though normally if i tap like two taps it'd be really dusty but it's okay so far which is good they've learned their lesson <laughs> so i'm just start by putting this into the crease and this is going to be really blown out guys so the bigger the brush the better the more fluffy the better it is so what i'm doing is i'm slowly putting this into the crease this is basically all going to be black out anyways so it doesn't really matter but it's really hard blending black into your skin color especially when you put such a pale skin color underneath so it's all about just getting like this slowly transition shade of like dark brown into black into transition shade into your skin color and i always feel like because i'm using the satin shade it's like an orangey color so it helps bring out the contact lenses as well it really helps amplify blue and make it really stand out I'm just go right inside my crease bone here and then i'm slowly bringing color up higher once there's nothing left on my brush and i want this bit in here to be really smoky as well really working this on my inner corners into the top of my eyebrow as well and then when you add the black in it'll be even more intense so i think i need to bring the brown a bit higher when my eyes are open because it looks like the brown isn't as high as i want it to be so while looking at my eyes when it's straight open into a mirror rather than pushing my head back like this i can see exactly where i want my brown to be i feel like i have a bit too much brow space here so i need to bring this eyeshadow up a bit higher here so it makes it look like you know a skeleton that has like a really hollow eyes it's starting to bring all of this bit up a bit higher because before I had more of my transition shade here so I want to really buff this bit out with just the parallel shade and I just want like a little peep of brow poking through and because we use like a really light concealer it makes this bit look really like bright and then you want to make sure this bit is winged out as well this is going to go really far down underneath anyway so you might as well start taking it down now actually the thing about Halloween makeup is that you can't be scared to do stuff that you've never done before a lot of people will be really scared normally to take their eyes eyeshadow down really really low but you have to remember this is like a halloween look so you want it to look really like bruised and dark and scary ish <laughs> that's what i have to really learn as well because i always get like in my comfort zone so we're going to be putting black all around here so this is just going to be like almost our transition shade you can also do this look with kind of like reds as well if you want a more like demonish skull i still want my skull to look kind of glam ish so i'm not going to do anything too cray cray i still want it to look really pretty you know so the trick with this look is just to literally dab the brush in really slowly don't be like twirling your brush all up in the eyeshadow because that's how you're going to get a lot of fallout if you literally do like two dabs that's enough 
don't like twirl your brush in it because sometimes I think people got that like, ham inside and they wonder why they get full up. Go too crazy in the eyeshadow bitch. So now that both eyes are done, I'm gonna go back in with the precision gel eyeliner from Illamasqua. I'm gonna use that brush that was in the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. It has a fluffy side and like a flattish side. So this is just gonna help us put black on our eyes without it going patchy. So I'm just gonna use a little bit on the flat shader side. And then we're just brushing this all over the eyelid to make a really dark base. Just flip it on over to the other side to make sure any harsh lines are blended out. You still want to make sure that when you put the gel eyeliner on, it's really blended out. You don't want no harsh lines on this because otherwise, when you put the black eyeshadow on top, it's going to look patchy as well. So when you put like a gel eyeshadow base on, it just gives the black something to stick to and make sure that there's nothing poking through underneath that could make it look less black, you know? It's like the ultimate black smoky eye. <laughs> And then we're also going to put some gel eyeliner right underneath into our lash line and everything. You want to get this as dark as possible right around your eyes so it looks really hollow. Especially when you have really light eyes. I'm jealous of anyone who has eyes like this naturally. If I had eyes like this, I would wear constantly orange eyeshadow, purple eyeshadow. to really make my eyes stand out. So this is just getting a slight base. And then when we put the black eyeshadow on top, it's going to go really dark. Okay, guys. So I'm just going to go on top of all the black gel eyeliner with obsidian black eyeshadow. I think I'm going to keep using this Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. It's actually not that bad. So I'm just packing it right on top. You want it to be really dark and bring the black up really really high i'm also going to bring the black up in this bit as well right on the inner corner a bit right into my eyebrows as well and then also i'm just going to go up here just to create more of like a brownie type of look okay so my eyes are kind of like done now but i just want to add a little bit of like color just in the center like a bit of like a shine or sheen or something like that because it's a bit black and black so i'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow base it's from smolder cosmetics called dazzle lock and i'm gonna use this iconic glitter it's from felicia by felicia it's called iconic it's like a black glitter and it has like quite big chunks small chunks so i'm gonna put this just in the center of the eyelid just to give it a bit more dimension and use my finger to pat it out in goes the glitter this is a very chunky glitter guys you have to be careful you don't get it inside your eye like you know because your eyes are so dark i just thought it, it's still keeping it dark but it just adds a little bit extra something something je ne sais quoi <laughs> i don't think that's even how you say it okay so i've got all my glitter on i kind of bring it a bit more on the inner corner here as well and i'm gonna put on some eyelashes what lashes should I do? I need to put some mascara. I'm gonna use the Ico Lash Alert Mascara. I think I used it in my last tutorial too. Okay, so for eyelashes, I'm gonna go for Raquel by Huda Beauty. These are really nice because they're really long and they're really dark and they're almost quite like spidery looking. I love these guys. This is one of my favorite eyelashes, especially if you want something really dramatic and really dark. Okay, so now that my lashes are on, I'm gonna do my nose now. So as you guys know, the skeleton nose is like basically hollow. You need to kind of blank it out, and you can do this with any black item and you can make it like really smoky or quite defined i'm gonna try to trace it out with my tarte it's called double take eyeliner so i want it almost like a little dip some powder on my nose bitch and then oil you want to make sure your nose is really matte for this because otherwise your nose will look really shining okay so i really like this tart pen because it's really black i've kind of googled up skeletons and stuff like that so i almost want to do like a little nose and then it's a bit more pointy or like a little empty bit in the middle so i don't know this is what i get nervous about guys freaking yolo i'm literally using my hand just to steady my finger so it really helps because i have long nails i can literally just perch so my freaking hand's not shaking about do like a little bit round does this look really stupid? <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay, I'm going to fill this all in black so I can start to imagine what it looks like. Oh my god, can you imagine? This gives me like really black blackness because the ink is going right into my pores. Bitch! That nose highlight though. Okay, I'm going to quickly perfect this and I'll be back. Okay, so now that I've got a big doo-doo on my nose. It looks so like shit, guys. I don't even know what a freaking nose is meant to look like. But I feel like I need to smoke out a bit more because it's a bit too precise and everything here is really smoky. So I'm going to use like some brownish eyeshadow kind of thing and just kind of like blend out the edges a little bit. I'm just going to use that parallel shade mixed with a bit of obsidian just to kind of blur out the edges a little bit. So I'm using a small Morphe M507 brush. Just literally like smoking out the edges just slightly so i'm gonna switch to a blank canvas e25 
23 brush because I feel like I just need to blend out the edges and that brush is a bit too fluffy just so it's not so like crisp so I'm literally just blurring out the edges of it just so that it doesn't look as perfect so it goes with the rest of the makeup look I'm just using that brown black eyeshadow and I'm kind of contouring my nose as well so it kind of blends in with my eyes and then I'm also going to do just a little dab of glitter just on the tip of my nose so it has like a bit of a nose highlight with that glitter that we use from Ironic and then you just want to make sure you sweep it in the excess good because it's good it's so chunky it literally just wipes away so now we're going to start doing the contour and then the lips and then hopefully we're done bloody hell this tutorial is so long okay so for contour i'm also going to use this palette as well i'm just going to go in with that parallel shade because i kind of want it to match along with the eyes and everything as well so i'm going to use this eater brush by nars and it's so old i haven't used it for ages but i think this is perfect because i want it to be quite harsh line that's why i don't use it because it creates such a harsh line but it's actually perfect for situations like this so you see this brush kind of creating that kind of skeleton line for you just here i'm going to bring it down slightly just so it has that shape of the skeleton okay so i'm just going to contour in with this shade here but a bit easier it's the kevin laquan medium sculpting powder <laughs> ah! dropping everything i felt the other one was a bit too warm i'm going to sculpt it kind of going upwards as well to make your face look more hollow yes that's cheekbones yeah. you literally start by sucking your cheekbone kind of follow the shape probably the easiest way to find your bone structure I'm just gonna down with like this and then just here i want to hollow out my forehead as well skeleton normally have like this dent here i don't know why skeletons have this dent okay now that i sharpened it up a little bit i use a smaller brush this is like a flat shade brush by mac i don't know what the freaking number is so old but any flat concealer kind of brush because synthetic brushes tend to be a bit more sharper i'm gonna go back in with the obsidian shade i'm just gonna carve out this bit here because i want this bit to be really really sharp because we're going to do some teeth along here so i'm kind of like etching it out and i'm blending it into that contour shade that we put on there earlier i feel like i'm back at my mac days when i used to do a lot of body painting so you can see the difference between like this one and this one's just a bit sharper and you kind of bring it down just to blend it in and fade it so it looks a bit more shadowy not just that one harsh line okay so i've hollowed out my cheekbones so we're gonna do the little teeth now so there's loads of ways that you can do teeth but I personally don't like it when it's like white and stuff like that. I'm going to do the ones where it's literally just like lines. So hopefully this should be quite easy. I'm using one of my favourite eyeliners from NYX. It's so nice and precise. It's called the Epic Ink Liner. So I'm going to kind of draw this kind of going upwards from the corner of my mouth. So keep my mouth closed. I'm kind of drawing it kind of going upwards. So I'm kind of like smiling. Just kind of connecting it because I want it to look blended into these bits here. Teeth are like the make or break of a fucking skull. It's so hard. And then I'm just going to draw a line across my lip. I'm going to draw one in the centre and that's going to be my like base so I know it's kind of symmetrical. And then I'm just going to carry on doing little lines kind of apart from each other about one centimetre apart. Mmm, it's making my lip feel funny. God, it looks like a spider that's coming out of my mouth. And then while I go out here, I'm going to make these lines a bit smaller. I don't know if it looks like teeth, it looks like thorns coming out of my mouth all right guys these are not the best teeth ever but i'm just gonna put on black eyeshadow just to like smudge this out a bit i'm gonna put a bit of black and brown together okay guys so i'm just blending out a bit of brown eyeshadow just so it kind of blends in my eyes a bit more because i feel like my lips were a bit too pretty and perfect kind of thing not perfect but you know and then in here i'm just gonna do like a bit of this glitter inside my lip as well okay guys so this is the finished look on the face and then obviously depending on what your outfit is you need to do something on your chest as well to really bring the look to life i think obviously you can paint your chairs you can add glitter what i'm gonna do as well to save a bit of time is i've got this root spray from redkin and it's basically a black hair spray and i use this all the time my tutorials and this is like literally the perfect way to like spray paint something and make it look a bit cooler so i'm gonna try it see how it goes with yolo if not i'm gonna put like a black turtleneck top or something <laughs> let's try it okay so i don't want it like completely black i just want it like just kind of cool oh my god i used it all up no it's creating quite a cool effect though it's like spotty <gasps> bitch oh bitch bitch oh bitch i need to blend this out mm. bitch oh my god oh my god there's no more no why okay round two round two. Oh my god guys this has been off the whole time Oh, my light background bit. okay so i have another one it's a dark brown though so hopefully this will be better oh my god i literally look like i've been dead through the mud 
God, guys, don't tell me I'm not going all out for you guys. <laughs> I'm going to spray my body for this shit. I'm going to have to have, like, scrubbing shower later. Afterwards, I'm going to spray a bit of Makeup Forever Mist and Fix and spray it all on me, and then I'm going to tap some glitter on my chest. So spray it all over to get it nice and damp so that the glitter would adhere to it. And then I'm going to go in with the NYX glitter in 08 and NYX glitter in 04. And then literally, I'm not gonna chuck this on me. I'm literally like I'm putting salt on my freaking thighs right now <laughs> on my body. And then I'm just gonna go in with a bit of that black glitter. This is a bit chunky. Oh my god, this is so messy. Oh my god, I'm spraying on my hands, everything. Oh. Okay, so I just sprayed my hands and then I sprayed my chest and stuff. And now I'm gonna put on my wig and then my crown and then I'll show you guys the finished look. Okay, guys, so that's it for this makeup look. Please let me know if you enjoyed this kind of glittery crown skeleton queen. Yeah, you guys, know I had to include some glitter in this look. Mm -mm. So, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure you show your appreciation down below by giving me a thumbs up and commenting. I would really appreciate it, guys, because it took so goddamn long to film. And look at me, guys. I'm a freaking mess. Please make sure you subscribe to all my other social media platforms. It's just x Lee on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Enjoy the bloopers, guys. Bye-bye now. Oh, my God. Look at my hands. Oh, it feels so dirty. And then I'll go down. Oh, do you want? I hope this makeup keep going, look. Oh, my God. It's so scary. Look at myself at the viewfinder bit. Oh, I'm going up. Huh? Oh, yeah, you have to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> ah! You guys should see my pajama pants right now. It's literally like oh, I can't even show you because my legs aren't even that tall, but it's literally like. <laughs> mm. Oh, bitch! I'm nervous. Just a little. Oh, bitch! Oh my god, guys! I can't even see anything. My eyes are like so blurry. I've got so much glitter, lashes, contacts. My fingers feel like I just dip them in that like, mud. It feels so like grimy and like sticky. Oh, I can't wait to wash this all up, bitch. Yes, bitch. I feel like I should do a whole Q&A just dressed up because I'm just going to take this all off now. <laughs>